getting the three exchanges together wasn't actually uh, wasn't actually something that was thought out uh, uh, as a planned because I was involved in the IIX and the Open IXP. And I, in 2000, I met a friend from Malaysia who has a data center and uh, helped them create the Malaysian exchange. So I was involved there. And uh, Pak Sanjaya of APNIC, later on, I think uh, two years or three years after that, introduced me to Banilara of the Philippines where they were trying to create an exchange. So uh, I was also uh, involved in doing that. So it was, it was kind of natural. It was something that I wasn't planning to make a regional exchange. It was just something, okay, these three exchanges I was involved, let's just sit together and connect cables. And that was actually it. Interconnection between uh, exchanges has reduced a lot in the last 15 years. Uh, so it wasn't much of a challenge there. The challenge was, was actually uh, outside of, of the technical issues. So, for instance, in Malaysia, the Malaysian government felt it was necessary for the government to take over the Malaysian exchange. So, yes, uh, there was an issue that a non-ISP, namely uh, Open ISP from Indonesia, is going to connect to the Malaysian exchange, whereas the Open ISP does not have an ISP license in Malaysia. So it did become an issue with the Malaysian government. Uh, with the Philippines, it wasn't such an issue. It was more of uh, PLET wasn't on board yet uh, at that time. So we thought, you know what, uh, maybe connecting the Philippine exchange to the Indonesian exchange might motivate PLET to actually connect to the Philippine exchange. So the technical issue actually is during these past 10, 15 years, uh, CDNs and the big uh, global content company like Google, Facebook, Yahoo, has created their local uh, presence in many countries. Had no idea that exchanges could be connected. So the first day we, we established the BGP between the OpenIX and the Philippine OpenIX, the whole of Indonesia was accessing YouTube through the Philippines yeah, Google installation. And that was a lot of traffic. I mean, we were trying to push 15 gig in a 100 meg pipe. So, and uh, there, was, there wasn't actually anything we could do. Uh, Google had to adjust its algorithm. And I don't think they actually have, not, not only Google, I mean, the, the content providers that is doing CDN has a grasp of exchanges could actually connect to each other. And uh, that is still a challenge up until today. The most important lesson is uh, the internet is still fun. Technically, it is easy to connect and exchange. Uh, the big problem is policy-wise, maybe in some countries the government uh, involvement is more of policy instead of technical. So it did take a long time to convince governments about exchanges. And the other one is uh, the content providers. I mean, it, it's hard for them to comprehend that three different countries all, all of a sudden becomes one virtual uh, network.